The anime tells the story of a male high school student named Yuru. Yu is a teenage boy forced to use a wheelchair because his legs are paralyzed. Yu always uses an automatic wheelchair to help him do his daily activities. Although Yu always looks strong and tough in his daily life, Yu actually suffers a lot because he feels helpless and can't do the same activities as other students. However, Yu always tries to be patient with every difficulty in his life. Currently, Yu lives with his female nanny named Saki, because Yu's parents died in an airplane crash, the same accident that left Yu paralyzed. Apart from taking care of Yu, Saki also works as an owner of a flower shop. At school, Yu has best friends named Haru and Katona. Since they were little, Yu and Haru have been friends, while Katona has been their close friend since they entered high school. Yu secretly likes Katona, but he never dares to confess his feelings to her. Meanwhile, Katona actually likes Haru, so they have a love triangle. That afternoon, Yu, who was spending his time studying with his computer tablet, suddenly got a phone call from Katona. Katona told Yu that she was currently being chased by a tall man wearing a black hoodie and covering his face with a mask. Hearing this, Yu quickly asked Saki to take him to Katona's location. Yu and Saki rushed into Saki's car to the location that Katona had told them. When Yu arrived at the location, Yu immediately looked for Katona using his automatic wheelchair. Shortly after, Yu managed to find Katona's location. At that time, Katona was captured by a mysterious man carrying a knife. Even though Katona had tried to break free and put up a fight, the mysterious man had already stabbed Katona's body with the knife he was carrying. Yu quickly approached Katona and threw himself forward to catch Katona's limp body helplessly, while the mysterious man immediately ran away from the two of them. Yu felt very anxious and scared to see Katona's body covered in blood. While Yu was calling the ambulance on his cell phone, he held Katona's body. Not long after, Haru came and ran over to the two of them. Haru saw that Katona had lost consciousness, panicked, and wanted to take her to the hospital without waiting for the ambulance to arrive. Yu tries to calm Haru down and asks him to be patient while waiting for the ambulance to arrive, but Haru couldn't wait anymore. He then immediately carried Katona's body and left Yu alone. When Haru was crossing the street carelessly, he and Katona were almost hit by a big truck. Fortunately, Yu arrived just in time and immediately pushed their bodies so that they survived the crash of the big truck. When Yu saves Haru and Katona, a bright light appears like a portal that takes them to another world. On that day, a miracle happened to the three of them. Within seconds, Yu and Haru had moved to another world. They both looked confused because they suddenly entered a very different world from the world they had lived in so far. Yu and Haru looked around them and realized that Yu wasn't paralyzed in this other world. The two of them automatically felt happy and excited to see Yu, who had recovered from his paralysis. After some time, Yu and Haru recalled Katona's condition and concluded that Katona had also moved to this other world. Yu and Haru then decided to look for Katona's whereabouts in the other world. After walking around the city for a while, Yu and Haru stopped at a restaurant full of people. Yu thought that by coming to a place with many people, they could get information about Katona's location more easily. And Yu was right. In that restaurant, Yu managed to find information about a girl whose face was very similar to Katona named Princess Ostreed. In an announcement leaflet, they learned that Princess Ostreed is the sole heir to the kingdom in this region. After hearing the information, Yu and Haru immediately went to the royal palace to meet Princess Ostreed. When Yu and Haru arrived in front of the royal palace, they were stopped by one of the royal guards and were not allowed to enter the palace. Yu and Haru are forced to find another way to get into the palace. Then they decided to sneak into a stretcher for the carriage going into the palace. It is known that the carriage is the carriage of the healers who were invited by the kingdom to treat Princess Ostreed, who is currently sick. Yu and Haru managed to get into the palace and infiltrated a large urn that would be brought to Princess Ostreed's room. After the large urn was placed, Yu and Haru came out to see the condition of Princess Ostreed. They saw how the healers failed to treat Princess Ostreed's illness and were instead crushed by the evil power that emerged from Princess Ostreed's body. When Yu and Haru tried to look at Princess Ostreed's condition, Yu saw a sword emitting purple light stuck in Princess Ostreed's body. Seeing that, Yu instinctively pulled the sword from Princess Ostreed's body with all his power. Even though Yu had a hard time pulling out the sword, he finally managed to pull it out. A purple light emitted from Princess Ostreed's body, and all the evil power in Princess Ostreed's body disappeared after the sword was pulled out. Princess Ostreed was finally recovering from her illness because of Yu. Shortly after, Yu and Haru were arrested by a royal personal guard named Barton because they had sneaked into Princess Ostreed's room. Haru tries to explain that the two of them have no intention of hurting Princess Ostreed and just want to find their missing friend. At the same time, several royal guards came and gave information that Yu and Haru had managed to save Princess Ostreed. 
Therefore, the royal guard cancelled their punishment and instead gave them gifts. Princess Ostreet, who had recovered, then came and thanked them. When Haru tries to confirm their previous guess by calling Princess Ostreet by Katona's name, Princess Ostreet looks confused and doesn't know who Katona is. At that moment, Yu and Haru realize that Princess Ostreet and Katona were two different people. That afternoon, the royal party escorted Yu and Haru back to the residential area. They will live in a house behind the restaurant they went to before. When it was night, Yu was still curious about Princess Ostreed's true identity. So he returned to the royal palace to meet Princess Ostreed. Fortunately, the palace guards can recognize Yu and allow him to enter the palace. Princess Ostreed, who accidentally sees Yu, immediately invites him to go around the palace and spend time together in the forest behind the palace. They even saw a very beautiful moonlight together. That night, Yu and Princess Ostreed enjoyed their time together, and their relationship grew closer. Princess Ostreed, who previously used to do activities in the palace alone, felt that Yu's presence made her happy. The next day, Yu and Haru received an invitation from the royal party to join a sword competition. Yu and Haru were hesitant to attend the match, but finally, they ventured to participate in the competition. Surprisingly, Yu and Haru can excel against every enemy in the match. They can easily knock down their opponents and quickly win every match round. While the match was in progress, the king suddenly stopped the match and called Yu and Haru to the palace pulpit. When Yu and Haru reached the pulpit, the royal guards suddenly pointed their spears at them. It turned out that the king's subordinate named Naus had accused them of being spies from the enemy's empire. Yu and Haru were confused because they didn't know what to do. After they tried Yu's crazy idea by jumping into the flames behind the throne, Yu and Haru finally managed to return to their original world. After successfully returning to the original world, Yu and Haru found themselves on the side of the highway unharmed. Shortly after, Katona came waving at them. Seeing Katona in good condition, Haru immediately ran to Katona and hugged her, while Yu could only see the two of them hugging from his wheelchair. On the next day, Yu and Haru went back to living their lives as usual. One day, Yu visited the hospital to see an old man he had met before. Yu remembered that this old man had told him about another world when he was little. But unfortunately, that day Yu failed to meet the old man because he was going to another world. The day after, Yu and Haru found that Katona didn't come to school, so they became worried and felt that something was wrong with her. After school, Yu and Haru came to see Katona to find out why she didn't come to class. After they meet with Katona, she explains that she is suffering from a deadly disease that is very dangerous for her life. Hearing this, Haru immediately burst into tears and felt angry at Yu for thinking that Yu had caused Katona to contract the deadly disease. Haru concludes that by healing Princess Ostreet in another world, Katona who lives in this world becomes suffering and dying. Without thinking, Haru intends to return to another world and kill Princess Ostreet to save Katona from the deadly disease. Yu quickly asked Haru not to be rash and said that he must not sacrifice other people's lives for the lives of our loved ones. In the middle of their argument, a mysterious man suddenly appears and takes them back to another world. When Yu arrived in another world, he was suddenly arrested by the royal guards because he was considered to have escaped from his previous execution. Yu tries to escape while explaining that Princess Ostreet is in danger. Meanwhile, Haru arrives in another kingdom, a kingdom that has been hostile to Princess Ostreet's kingdom. Elsewhere, Yu is still trying to convince the royal party that Princess Ostreet's life is in danger. Seeing Yu, who looked serious with his words, Naus then offered him to join their royal army and protect Princess Ostreed from the enemy kingdom's attack. On the other hand, Haru joins the enemy kingdom and is ordered to kill Princess Ostreed. After Yu accepts Naus's offer to become one of the royal guard troops, Princess Ostreed comes to see Yu and says that she doesn't want him to kill her best friend just for her own safety. Princess Ostreed even gave the magic dagger that her late mother had created to Yu so that he could kill her at that time. But Yu refused Princess Ostreed's request because he wanted to save her and Katona at once. Yu still felt that killing one of them was not the right answer to this problem. The war between Princess Ostreed's kingdom and other kingdoms finally broke out on the following day. After the entire enemy army almost broke into the territory of the royal palace, Yu had no other choice but to fight his own friend on the battlefield. Suddenly, during the battle between Yu and Haru, a portal of light appears again and brings them back to their original world. When Yu and Haru return, a spider monster appears and attacks the flower shop where Yu lives. The spider monster was another embodiment of the mysterious man who had stabbed Katona before. Saki, Yu, and Haru immediately went to escape using Saki's car. On the way, Yu managed to solve the mystery that caused Katona to suffer from a deadly disease. Yu explains that when Princess Ostreed was seriously ill in another world, Katona who was in this world was killed. 
When Princess Ostrid was in danger in another world, Katona who was living in this world was seriously ill. If something bad happens to Princess Ostrid, Katona will also experience something bad. In that way, Yu and Haru's original world is connected to Princess Ostrid's world. When Saki, Yu, and Haru raced to escape from the spider monster's pursuit, a car they were driving accidentally fell into the river. At the same time, a portal of light appears again, and they move to another world. Then Yu immediately came to Naus and revealed Naus' true identity. Yu says that Naus is the traitor of this kingdom, who is also the one who has inflicted the cursed disease on Princess Ostreed. Having been cornered, Naus then reveals his true identity. It turns out that Naus has been the leader of an enemy kingdom disguised as the kingdom's minister of magic. After Naus' disguise is revealed, Haru suddenly attacks Princess Ostreed because his mind has been controlled by Naus. Luckily, Yu could prevent Haru and fight back against the attack. After a long battle, Yu finally released Haru from the control of Naus' magic. But another fight begins again when Yu tries to save Princess Ostreed from Naus' attack. When Naus was about to draw his sword at Princess Ostreed, Yu sacrificed himself to save her. Seeing Yu dying, Princess Ostreed, Haru, and the other royal guards tried to fight Naus' attacks with all their power. During the fight, the old man, which Yu had been looking for, suddenly appeared and gave his wand to Yu. After passing on his wand to Yu, the old man went to the original world through a portal of light. After receiving the wand, Yu miraculously recovered and was able to transform the wand into a legendary sword. With the help of the sword's power and the help of Haru, Yu finally managed to defeat Naus after a very long and fierce battle. After the fight ends, a portal of light appears again, so Yu and Haru must return to their original world. Because they don't have much time, Yu and Haru are forced to immediately leave Princess Ostreed in the kingdom. But when they were about to leave through the portal, Yu suddenly let go of Haru's hand and decided to stay in the other world with Princess Ostreed. Yu had realized that he had loved Princess Ostreed all this time, so he could not be separated from her. When Haru returns to his original world, he finds himself in a hospital. Haru immediately tried to find Yu's whereabouts, but he couldn't find him. Moments later, Haru realized that all memories of Yu in this original world had disappeared. Now Yu has completely lived in another world. From then on, Haru begins to live daily life with Katona, while Yu lives a life in the kingdom with Princess Ostreed. Yu has even crowned as a prince in the kingdom and inherited the throne from the kingdom. The moral that can be learned from this anime is that there are always privileges behind one's limitations. There are always advantages that complement each person's shortcomings. And how our life will go depends on which part we focus more on, our strengths or weaknesses.